of my most horrible times in life is when I felt comfortable around people to express myself and the things I love boldly around them and they would make comments like well why do you care so much or like it's not even that deep like ew like I'm sorry you don't feel compelled to feel these deep feelings for your hobbies your people or whatever but like I do so every time people want to dismiss that I'm like well fuck you you want to fight Literally. <laughs> Don't ever forget, Scorpio loves love, so don't diss anything that they love. Otherwise, yeah. they're gonna kill you. No, for real. <laughs> it's war. Because I see the thing I love, and then I see you trying to ruin it. Right! <laughs> I, need to, I need to eliminate you. Yes. What's good, y'all? Welcome to our channel. I'm Maya. And Sarah. And we are charmed and dangerous. Cause you know we're charming and we're dangerous. Mm -hmm. We're dangerous, baby. Mm -hmm. Especially, tell me what. Especially when what? I'm out here letting you know the things that make all the signs upset. I mean, I'm upset over what my sign upset. is upset about. Yeah. I'm upset. Okay. So as y'all know, we didn't make this list. We mm -hmm. just found it on the internet. Correct. It's from the Minds Journal. Mm -hmm. Zodiac signs and secrets. I don't know which one of those is the name of. <laughs> but I'm just reading the words that are on the post. Let's get into it, right? Aries, making fun of them. <laughs> I feel like this would annoy an Aries, but then also maybe not. Okay, so I think it would annoy them because they are very cocky people, you know what I mean? I feel like they're the best at every. They think that they're the best at oh, everything. Oh, say it right! Say it right! You said so, they're the best at everything. Give them that. No, they think, they think they're the best. <laughs> she took it they back. They think they're the best. I mean, y'all are pretty good at like a lot of things, but like not everything. You know what I mean? Like y'all be thinking. So I feel like they would be offended if somebody was like, they're not good at something, you know what yeah. I mean? Or like would be making fun of them. And I also think that they're maybe, they don't care because yeah. I feel like Aries is very much like, fuck you, I don't give a fuck kind of attitude. So it's yeah. like, they're not gonna take you seriously mm -hmm. if you're making fun of them, especially if they feel like you're beneath them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I'm just gonna have to disagree with you. Okay. I feel like no matter what, they're upset. <laughs> and I'm like, they could literally be the fucking President of the motherfucking world, like you know what I mean. Very qualified. Yeah. And if someone like you know, challenge is it was literally like, I think you suck. They'd be like, oh fuck no. Right. Like you know what I mean. Trying to fight. Yeah. You challenging I mean, me. Y'all, you're Martian. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. People don't go to war by not caring. They definitely care, and they care a lot. So when someone's making fun of them, to them, it's the ultimate sign of disrespect. Because first of all, why do you even feel comfortable making fun of me? Who the fuck are you to be making fun of me? You know what I mean? Right. And like, they're ready to go. Right. And I feel like they will start making fun of you, but meaner. Yeah. Like, right after. Oh, for Like, sure. it's, not, it's no. not fun anymore it's when the Aries starts. It's war. This wasn't Fighting funny. Fighting with you. Did, does, did this, was this funny for you? <laughs> if it wasn't funny for Aries, I hope you have fun. Because now it's time to get real. Right, because now it's serious and I'm going to kick your ass. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to end you. <laughs> Next is Taurus. And <laughs> the thing that upsets Taurus the most is being looked down upon. Yes. <laughs> Taurus? Like, yeah. Taurus is all about luxury and grace and Miss United States. And right. Like, they can do no wrong, you know what I mean? This is Taurus. They oh, yeah. figured it all out. Yes. This is why they're the most stubborn, because they are right all the time. Mm -hmm. So if someone has the audacity to tell Taurus that they're, you know what I mean, not the shit, Taurus is going to be like, who the fuck are you? Right, who are you? Like, that's actually going to upset them. Because I feel like also, Taurus can be very materialistic. Mm -hmm. And like, their possessions and their value, like, they value themselves a lot. Uh-huh. So if you come into their life and you're looking at them like, like, they're not all high and mighty mm -hmm. and you're not respecting them, they're definitely going to feel disrespected. Oh, for sure. Like, Taurus is Venusian, so they're not really trying to fight or get angry. But you not giving them the credit they deserve for everything they've done in life. Right, all that they've collected, all of yeah. their nice items and beautiful home, like yeah, yeah. all that they are. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you got them fucked up. You, you got do. them fucked up. Mm -hmm. I think another thing that upsets this sign is maybe like unexpected situations, or if you like catch them off guard. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I feel like they don't like surprises because they don't like to be caught off guard. Yeah. You know, like that would upset them too, I think. I also think they, they hate anything loud. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's so and they're cool. like, why are you doing all that? Yeah. Like, like stop. Sit down. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be Anything that fucks with their <laughs> level of calmness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gemini's, I just have to laugh, is Crap. not talking to them. <laughs> Yo, it has nothing to do with their character. Like, it has nothing to do with them. No. <laughs> you not talking to them? They're like, well, what the fuck? Oh my god, that is the biggest way to piss off a Gemini. No, it's literally the worst thing ever. No, that's like human torture to them. Not no. talking to them? Yeah, it's like putting them in the shoe. Right. Like in jail, right? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, that's what Gemini experiences right. every time you're like, ignored. <laughs> Or that they're not part of a conversation. I imagine Gemini like trying this new thing where they go to a coffee shop alone. Like they do something alone. Right. And then they're like sitting there alone. I'm like, I'm alone. I'm so cool. Like I can do things by myself. I don't need people here all the time. And then they hear a group of people next to them talking. And Gemini's like, oh, I need to be in this conversation so badly. Right. And they will insert themselves into this conversation. They'll say something relatable. They'll be friends with these people. They'll be going out with them next weekend. Like, oh this is gosh. what happens. Yes. Like, even when they tell themselves they're doing something where they don't need to communicate, they will find a way to communicate. No, truly. Truly. We will find a way to communicate. <laughs> as Gemini Moon. Gemini is going to get in there. Gemini is going to start a conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they will do everything to get you to try and start that conversation. Like, again, if you're ignoring them, or not trying to talk with them, they're gonna go crazy. Yeah, like truly, I think the silent treatment <laughs> is very toxic for all, all signs, yeah. all people everywhere. But if you're giving us, yeah, if you're giving a Gemini silent treatment, like you truly hate them. Yeah. Huh? Like you're, you are sucking their soul dry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next we have Cancer, and it says no attention on them. Yeah. They're yeah. baby. You know what I mean? Like, what is a baby gonna do when they're not getting attention? They're gonna cry until they get attention. Too much. <laughs> I feel like especially when a cancer is like mad or sad, they want everyone in the room to like feel it with them. And acknowledge it. Yes. And until you do, it's horrible for everybody in this space. Like you feel so uncomfortable, like you feel that energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, truly, like if they're experiencing an emotion, they need you to also be experiencing it. And if you're not, they feel like you're being insensitive. <laughs> yeah. But you know, when you're younger, like you get it, you're like, yeah, I totally get it. But like when you're older, it's like, well, I can still validate your feelings without being in that same angry space with you. Right. But like, they're like, how dare you? It's about me right now. We're feeling what I'm feeling right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like what? How? Okay. 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 Right. I don't have to. They get upset. They feelings. really do get upset. Mm -hmm. And they start getting theatrical, kind of like Leo. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> That little bit of Patrick in you, like, I'm gonna show out. Yes. Yeah. And they want to be hurt. They do. And you are. Mm -hmm. Those howls are hurt. Yes, they are. <laughs> Next, we have Leo, and it says being alone. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is true because then who is gonna be there to, you Take know. Take their pictures? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who's gonna be there to be the audience? I'm yeah, saying. exactly. Who's gonna be there to like, you know, be their sidekick? Oh my god. Everyone stop. needs to everyone needs to. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, right? when I read this, I thought this could also be Libras. Like Libra yeah. is that codependent house of seventh house shit partnerships. For sure. I hate being alone. Mm hmm You know what I mean? And also the last one, no no attention on them. That could be for Leo too. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, they truly do get upset when that happens. Yeah. I think another thing that upsets Leo is when people don't let them lead. Yes. You know, king of the jungle, baby. Like I know what I'm doing. That and, is like, facts. Please don't ever think that you can dominate me. Uh huh. Uh huh. They think of it as a challenge. Right. And it upsets them because they're usually very comfortable in that leadership position. Mm -hmm. So if someone new comes and they're like challenging them, I feel like they get very upset. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because they, they come like it's that lion challenge. Yeah, they're like, oh, you ain't gonna be the king of the jungle today. Right. She was yeah. like, ah, right. here we go. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> no, for sure. I feel like we always say that, you know, Leo has that um, main character energy. Energy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, <laughs> there need to be other actors with the main character. You know, it makes <laughs> you think, like, you think, what sign do you think gets the most mad when there's a new person in school? Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, why did they get all that? Right. Is it Leo? Is it, is it Leo? <laughs> Leo? We need to know. Leo, comment down below. Would, yes. would you get annoyed? Because you're like, well, why do they get all the attention? Right. You know? Or who do you think it is? Yeah. Which sign do you think it is? Next, we have Virgo. And the thing that upsets Virgo the most is betrayal. 
Um, I could see that because Virgos are very private. They are. And they don't necessarily have a lot of people they consider close to them. So mm -hmm. if someone close to them betrays them, they would be angry because they're like, how did I not see this coming? Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's the thing that upsets them the most. Yeah. You know, I think they get upset when they're embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bad. Like when something happens <laughs> yeah. that is embarrassing to them or someone's there that embarrasses them. Mm -hmm. I feel like Virgo gets really nervous and gets very openly upset. Yeah. No, that's true. That's true. They get embarrassed and they don't like that. They I feel like it. obviously too, imperfections yeah. annoys oh, and yeah. really upsets a Virgo. Like they just get very anal and they don't know what to do with themselves after it. You know what I mean? They're like, I need to fix it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it upsets them because it ruins their like, m maybe happy mood that they were in before. Maybe happy mood. Maybe. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you guys are happy, right? Right. <laughs> no, they are for sure. No, truly. For sure. Mm -hmm. I feel like they just also hate being judged. Oh. Yeah. The judge that hates being judged. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Ain't that funny? Next is Libra and things that upset. Libra is having no friends. <laughs> no friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that would upset them. No, for sure. <laughs> like, how? I relate to everyone. Right. I am everyone. Like, I agree with everyone. So why wouldn't people want to be my friend? Right. And also, it upsets them having no friends because then it's like, what are they supposed to do with their lives? They love to go and hang yeah. out with their friends and be on the social scene and like, yeah. do this and that. So it would be upsetting that they have to sit at home alone. <laughs> yeah. I think one that would really upset them, actually, it's pretty easy. It's conflict. Yeah, for Libra sure. Libra hates conflict. Mm -hmm. Libra hates being in between drama. Like, <laughs> even though they be starting shit, they right. hate to be in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Little instigators, but truly they want to make peace. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like when conflict is happening or when shit doesn't feel peaceful, they start to get really annoyed and they kind of want to leave. Yeah. They no. really don't do well. Venus doesn't do well with Mars energy. Facts. They don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Passive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love, <laughs> love and peace. <laughs> Literally. Even though it's, you know, all is fair with love and war. Right. They're like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They just get really angry when that, when that happens. When yeah. People they love are fighting especially. Yes. You know? <laughs> like they don't know what to do with themselves. Which is also why like they also dismiss their own feelings often. You know what I mean? Because they don't want their feelings to lead they don't want their feelings to lead to conflict. Yeah. You know, so they'll <laughs> they just pretend that they don't feel that way. <laughs> yeah. So they don't have to deal with conflict. Yeah. You know? They disagreements. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't want to be upset, so they yeah. don't deal with that conflict. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. Next we have Scorpio and it says insulting something they love. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Don't do it. Watch the podcast. <laughs> we had a whole thing about that. I get very upset when people upset my friends, my family, my lover, things I love, things I'm passionate about. <laughs> it could be my favorite TV show. I don't know. <laughs> if you insult what I feel passionate about, I get pissed. And yeah. I feel like it's in my rightful duty to give you an explanation, a very passionate explanation as to why you're wrong. Like, I feel like a lot of times Scorpios, we're, because we're so passionate, we get angry when people dismiss the things we're passionate about because people, most people usually aren't that passionate about shit. Mm -hmm. So when people have, you know, the feeling or the need to talk about something we love in a dismissive way, we're like, uh oh. Exactly. And we take it as a sign of disrespect. Yeah, it feels like they're it's dismissing you. Like too. It feels yeah. like they're dismissing you yeah. for feeling so passionately about something. And, and then it's like, well, fuck you yeah. for looking at me funny because I love so much because I feel so passionately about something. Yeah. 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 Honestly, some of my most horrible times in life <laughs> is when I felt comfortable around people to express myself and the things I love boldly around them. And they would make comments like, well, why do you care so much? Or like, it's not even that deep. Like, ew. Like, I'm sorry. You don't feel compelled to feel these deep feelings for your hobbies, your people, or whatever, but like I do. So every time people want to dismiss that, I'm like, well, fuck you. You want to fight? <laughs> Literally. Don't ever forget, Scorpio loves love, so don't diss anything that they love. Otherwise, yeah. they're going to kill you. No, <laughs> It's war. Because I see the thing I love, and then I see you trying to ruin it. Right! <laughs> I, need to, I need to eliminate you. Yes, eliminate the enemy, which is you. <laughs> Literally. You don't fuck up my love and happiness. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm. No, it took 
me a while to get here. Okay. Okay, next we have Sag and it says not living up to their expectations. Mm -hmm. Does that upset you? I feel like it can upset me. I don't know if it's the thing that upsets me the most, uh -huh. but I definitely feel like it can upset me not living up to my own expectations. I feel like I have very big dreams and I yeah. feel like lots of Sagittarius do have big dreams. And so when they maybe don't meet that, they get frustrated or if they want to go live a big adventure, they're like, fuck, like I missed out on life. Yeah. And I feel like Sagittarius very much give off the energy that they don't care, but we do. <laughs> yeah. To me though, the thing that upsets Sagittarius the most is when people are pessimistic or they have negative energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like Sag is so like positive all the time, or sometimes even like too fakely positive. Mm -hmm. So it really like irks them when people are like trying to rain on their parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like even just the not living up to their expectations thing, I think sometimes it's not even as deep as like life, but like even just like I feel like a day, like because you guys, you know are Jupiter ruled, you have all these expansive beliefs about how the day's gonna go. Mm -hmm. This can happen. <laughs> and like, wow, that's very lovely of like, oh, it can happen like this. And like, sometimes it doesn't happen like that. And like, that's just life. And I feel like when things don't go your way, you guys get very upset. Because mm -hmm. again, that Jupiter energy usually give you, gives you guys that good luck, that good charm. Like, yeah, it can happen. And when it doesn't, you guys are like, damn, I got excited for nothing. Right. <laughs> like, like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I also think you guys get really upset when people don't laugh at your jokes. Like when you say something that, you know, you, I love y'all's dark humor, dark sense of humor. But sometimes, you know, other people can't handle it mm -hmm. or, or they don't laugh and they get awkward. And I feel like that upsets you guys because you felt justified to make this very funny joke that had a lot of truth to it. <laughs> right. And when people don't laugh, you're like, well, I'm sorry you can't handle the truth. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Capricorn, and it says rejection. Yeah. I could yeah. see that. Honestly, because why would you reject Cap? <laughs> like, Capricorn does a lot to be taken seriously in this lifetime. Yeah. So to be rejected, like, they are going to look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No, for sure. I feel like a lot of their life, like, they're preparing. You know what yeah. I mean? They're, like, getting ready and, like, setting up and building. So to be rejected after yeah. whatever it is that they're building or planning for yeah. would be very, like, upsetting to them. Yeah. Because they do put in the time, you know what I mean? Like, they do set very good boundaries, and like I said, they put in the time. So it would be, I think it would be really upsetting to them Yeah. to feel that rejection. Yeah, because they're just, they're on this upward path of getting mm -hmm. what they want, right? So when you get rejected, you're hitting this roadblock. And Capricorn doesn't like roadblocks. They're so used to just climbing and climbing and climbing right. like the goat. The goat. <laughs> when it comes to, you know, not just career. Capricorn's not just about career. Like, everything in life. Like, even a relationship. Like, oh, okay, this is the next step. And if they feel like you're rejecting them and you're telling them no, they don't necessarily always understand why. Right. Because they believe that they're doing everything according to plan. Mm -hmm. And the blueprint is there. So why are we not going? Why are we right. not moving? Why is there this sense of... Halt right and rejection because I put in the time. Yeah, I did all the things. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. I think another thing that upsets them, and I've said this before, is people wasting their time. Ah. You know Saturn. Mm -hmm. So Saturn doesn't doesn't like that shit. Time is something that we don't get back in this life, and that's why Capricorn is so set in their ways and you know does things so perfectly and tries to be the best version of themselves all the time because they don't like to waste their time mm -hmm. so when other people waste their time they take that as the ultimate sign of disrespect yep yeah facts <laughs> okay so next we have Aquarius and it says things that upset the signs fighting if you don't like fighting why you argue so much uh, that's literally what I was gonna say I feel like they low-key love it low-key high-key you are they love like, it I'm telling you, join a fucking debate club. Like, they love to argue. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe, uh, I, I wanna you. add some words here. Yeah. The thing that upsets Aquarius is fighting with people who aren't open-minded. Oh. You know what Even I mean? though they themselves can be very close minded Exactly, but they get frustrated. Like we were saying in the Aquarius yeah. um, self-growth video, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They get very upset when other people aren't like accepting of their kind of new yeah. ideas. Yeah. So I feel like they get like they want to change people's mind and be preaching mm -hmm, to them. Mm -hmm. So they get very frustrated when like they're fighting with someone who isn't open minded, whose mind they could potentially change. Yeah. I also think they <laughs> get upset when people 
with people who like normal things. You know what I mean? <laughs> they get upset normal with C. yeah, or normal C, yeah, or things that are popular, like the yeah. status quo. <laughs> Especially like they'll take it personally, like if you're their friend okay. or their partner, and like you like what everyone else likes. They're gonna be like. Let me show you something different. Yeah, like, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it truly offends them to their core. No, no truly, it upsets <laughs> you guys. It really does upset you guys. It's like they hate that you're boring. Yeah. I also like think they Jane. they also hate it when people don't care about humanity. Yeah. Or the environment mm -hmm. and the earth. Like truly, like the community. Like when people do selfish shit. Yeah. I feel like Aquarius hates selfish acts mm -hmm. more than anything else. You know, they want you to. Be understanding of what's going on around you and not be so selfish. Like it's the opposite of Leo. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Leo can be somewhat self-centered. Aquarius thinks about how everything affects everybody. Mm -hmm. And if you're the type of person that only thinks about yourself and how your actions affect you, Aquarius is going to look at you as weak. Last, but of course, certainly not least, we have Pisces and it says being unable to escape from reality. Oh my god, I just have to laugh because yes. you guys watched <laughs> the Pisces video last week. I'm yes. sure you did. And the most toxic trait for Pisces that I picked was their escapism. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, go watch the video. Yes, y'all literally feel like if you can't escape at any given moment, like you're gonna freak out. Oh, they'll go crazy. They're, they will be extremely unhappy if they feel like they can't go to their la la land space. You know what I mean? And yeah. check out from you and whatever issues that you may be causing them in that moment. Yeah. Just like responsibility. Yeah. Like if Pisces has to wake up every day at the same time and go to like a nine to five, like they're like disgusted by that idea. No. I mean, granted, a lot of us are disgusted by that idea because fuck capitalism. Yes. But like Pisces more than anything because. They don't want to follow the rules, you mm -hmm. know? And they know that feelings come and go and they're not always going to be able to control them. So like, why should I live in a world, in this reality, right. that is always in control of me? I want to make my own rules. Right. There's so many bounds that they're limited to here in this physical yeah. space. You know what I mean? They're all about no boundaries. So like, they want to be out there in their la la land. It's true. And if you are, you know... <laughs> their friend, partner, family member, and you're reminding them of like, this is reality. Like, get your shit together. Try. They're gonna be upset. Yes. Like, <laughs> everything I go through, like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like, you know what I go through. Right. I just need to decompress and escape. Yeah. And that victimization starts. Yeah. All over again. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Thank you for kicking it with us while we react to this very, very upsetting <laughs> list. <laughs> If you didn't know, your girls, we got a podcast, and on this podcast, we discuss a lot of dope shit, mm -hmm. such as astrology, spirituality, healing, messy celeb gossip, all that yeah. good shit, honestly. You get to hear more about us and our personalities and our lives, mm -hmm. so if you're about it, check it out. And at the end of each YouTube video, we have a question that we discuss further on the podcast. So are you ready? For this week's question. Yes. Okay. The question is, well, examine your personal placements. Which thing that upsets the signs resonates with you the most and why? Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about all that good shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So check out the pod. The links are down below and it goes live on YouTube, the video format every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we post our regular YouTube videos every Monday and Thursday. And if we don't go follow us on our socials, we'll give you guys updates if we're taking a break or something. Yes. All right, happy Pisces season. We love you guys so, so much. And don't forget to also comment down below with your thoughts on this list if mm -hmm. you agreed or if you didn't. Mm -hmm. Like this video, mm -hmm. subscribe if you haven't, right. and have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye.